Hi guys, Kevlar here. We're in PC Building Simulator 2 and we're going to be building my own personal PC in the game and see how close we can get. So we had a go at the beta before but the free build didn't have as much of the options, the components that we wanted. I obviously did this before in PC Building Simulator 1. I will link the video at the end so you can see that one. And I've been looking forward to this game coming out so we can have another go and I'm expecting us to be able to get a lot closer because the components should be a lot better. Right, on screen now you'll see my PC. This is what my PC looks like. As we go through, I'll run through the components and we'll try and build it. Let's get into it. Right, okay, so we've got our empty desk. Right, so first of all, let's see if they've got my case. Right, so we're looking for the Corsair 5000D Airflow. Let's see how close we can get. 5000T, hmm. I mean, I think that's the closest we're gonna get. See, they got the two 20T, that's older than my case, right? Why don't they have the 5000D airflow? It's such a popular case, so already a bit disappointed, but it's it's not far off, so we're gonna go with this case, right? So it looks similar, not quite the same, but it'll look close enough. Right, okay, so we got that. What do we want next? Let's go for the motherboard. All right, so I've got a little bit of a rubbish motherboard for my build. I've got an Asus B450 Gaming F, which I don't think they've got here. They don't have the B450s, which I don't really blame them for not because yeah I should probably have a much better motherboard so we will go with the B550 that's probably going to be the closest looking I mean it's black it's got the Asus oh actually this one looks closer this is what mine looks like it's got the colouring there it's got that colour there so we're going to go with this one just for looks right so oh that was handy it didn't make me unscrew everything it just unscrewed it and screwed it in for me cool so we've got our motherboard in there and that does look like my motherboard so i'm happy with that right let's go for the cpu surely it's got my cpu so we've got the ryzen 7 5800x there we go let's open that up stick our cpu in close the lever right let's go for our cooling next again i've got corsair ah they don't have it in white how surely you can change the color right no oh that's that's disappointing i mean this is the one but they've only got it in black let's just type in white see what we get the cooler master silverstone ah oh. okay what do we do do we go with the white theme to make it look right we might have to do that let's stick some thermal paste just in case oh this is different Nice big blob in the middle, that's how I like to do it. Right, and we're gonna to have to go for this stupid white cooler because they don't have my cooler. Hey, okay, so we've got that in. Bit annoying, it's got black cables. But, bah, sod it. At least we've got the white fans, right. Right, we're gonna stick some more fans in. Right, yeah, I'm sure it's the LLs I've got. They haven't got gray in the middle though. They're, they're nice and white, but we're gonna to have to go with these anyway. We could go for the QLs because they look more like what I've got. Let's go for the QLs. Yeah, they, they look they look better. So this is how I've got it. I've got the three fans in the back there. Three in the front. One at the back. Lovely. I didn't look to see what way round they are. Can you swap them round to make sure they are intakes or outtakes? I don't know if you've got the choice there. But we're, we're looking okay. Right, so let's go for um, some storage. Right, they don't have the Western Digital ones that I've got, so we're just going to go for two one terabytes. Let's go for this one because it's blue and mine are both blue. So stick that in there and we should have another one somewhere we can install. Let's go for another one. Let's go for the same. There we go, down there. Where's my cover gone? I thought my cover should be in my remove components section. Interesting. Yeah, where's it gone? How do I put it back on? Right, okay, so we've got our two one terabyte drives and I do actually have a one terabyte standard SSD at the back. So we'll just stick one of those in. Back here. Excellent. Right, so let's go for RAM. So, RAM, 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 memory. Again, I'm um, Corsair. Right, interestingly, they don't have the one that I've got. So this one, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, black, 3600 megahertz. Oh, they've only got it in eight gigs. They don't do a 16 gig version, which is fine actually, because I've actually got two sticks of 16 gigs. And then I've got those like 
what do you call them? The light enhancement kit, so the fake ones in between, so it looks like I've got four sticks so that the lighting still looks nice. So, if we stick four of these in, it's going to look like my PC, having four sticks in there. And we're going to have the full 32 gigs. Okay, good. Right, what do we do next? Let's go for the PSU. Right, that's close enough. I've got the EVGA Supernova G5, so uh, let's go for this T2. It's the same wattage, it's the same brand. So that is fine. Now we can put it in. Okay. It likes plugging everything back in itself. Interesting. Didn't do that on the first one. Right, so what have we got left to do? We've done the motherboard, we've done the CPU, the cooling, the RAM, the storage, we've done the fans on the case, we've done the power supply. I think it's just the graphics card left, right? Oh, and cables. We want to see if they've got the nice cables. So let's go for the graphics card first. Surely they'll have my graphics card. So we've got the EVGA 4, the Win 3, 3080. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, we don't want it like that. We want it um, there. So let's just remove these first. Where's it going to go? Is top two slots? Let's just remove three. I think it needs three. Oh, what's in the way? Ah, oh, there it is. There's our drive tray. Okay, I thought it was going to be loose. Right, so we got that. So far, it's looking quite good. The only thing that's annoying me are these black cables and actually the fact that I have my cables coming down from this side and we need to see if we can get some nice custom cables so I have got the Leon Lee streamer cables which gives us loads of horrible RGB in here so let's see what we can do come on let's just type in Leon Lee oh no I was really hoping they would get something so what about RGB no no lighting cables plastic cables plastic they got any cables that light up on the version one of this game you could get some cables that light up they didn't look very good they didn't look like the leon lee cables but they at least lit up oh did they they didn't light up they were just rainbow colored really okay rainbow i think that's as close as we're gonna get oh that's a nightmare oh man that's so upsetting that looks worse than the ones that we had in the first game that's so depressing i thought i saw an advert for this game that you could get proper like, rgb cables i thought there was a lot more rgb in this game can we get any other rgb let's just have a look so case fans so that's just fans right cables we've looked at power supply storage we've done graphics card memory motherboard cpu cording we've done processors tools let's just type in rgb so what not, not even any like light strips or anything What's this custom water cooling? It's all just going to be water cooling stuff, isn't it? So pipes. So I assume if you do custom water cooling, you can probably get a bit of RGB going in the uh, coolant and stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm disappointed. Right, let's put it back together. Okay, is that us done? Didn't plug my fans in. Ah, oh, I had this problem in the first game as well, that not all of my fans would plug in. So we don't have a like a fan hub that allows us to have all those fans anyway let's, let's see what happens right it's, it's on we don't have much rgb going on do we need to sort out the rgb in here oh we've got no need to install some stuff okay add remove programs let's get some lighting let's have a look at this lighting Oh, it's so annoying those fans not working there we go we've just changed it to flow so it's kind of like yeah flowing which is how I've got it right the only thing is ideally I would like those fans at the front to be working instead of those ones at the top but I think uh, we're stuck and who plugged that back in there right so there we go there we have it that is our PC built and I'm actually disappointed I was expecting us to be able to do a much better job than PC building simulator one so let's try and do a side by side right so I'm going to try and stand over here with that on the left hand side so we can put the other build on the right hand side and see how close we got so I'd say yes this looks better the RGB definitely looks better the way this like flows so it's flowing a lot nicer it just looks a bit 
Lena. But it's not the right case. The graphics card is perfect. The RAM's perfect. I'd say the motherboard looks perfect. The fans are pretty perfect. I'm really disappointed that there's no like RGB. I thought we can get RGB strips around the outside like my real case. I thought we were going to be able to get RGB custom cables. I thought maybe some RGB panels, whatever they're called. So those Corsair panels that I've got. I thought we were going to get a lot more RGB options. But uh, no. I mean, at least that's lighting up a little bit. But yeah. I'm fairly disappointed with the result. I thought it was going to be much better than our first attempt on PC Building Simulator 1. And it's annoying me that those fans don't work. Anyway, we did it. We gave it a go. It's an improvement, but I'd say a bit of a thumbs down to PC Building Simulator 2 for not increasing the amount of RGB you can get in these PCs. Uh, well, I suppose I know my PC is over the top and it's a bit stupid, but come on, it's a computer game. I would have thought you can go over the top in this. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please do give us a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.